Hello everyone, this is Amit Dhan of AmitDhan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about what to do once you have your first Chromebook. So before you even open your first Chromebook, you need to have a Google account and you need to know the Wi-Fi network ID and password for the Wi-Fi you'll be using. If you do not have a Google or Gmail account, you can easily create one by going to uh, google.com slash accounts and I'll give you a, a link in the description box below. So once you create an account and you have your Wi-Fi network and password, then you can open up the Chromebook. Just uh, a note that it is possible to use your Chromebook without any Google account or Gmail account, but it, you'll not be realizing the full potential of your Chromebook and you'll not have access to many features and options the Chromebook has to offer. So it's recommended that you have a Google or uh, Gmail account so that way you can fully utilize all the potential of your new Chromebook. So once you uh, have the Chromebook or you have taken the Chromebook out of the box, then the first thing you're going to be doing is uh, plug in to the power outlet. Uh, most of the uh, latest Chromebooks, uh, it just you know uh, charges via USB-C cable. So whether your Chromebook has USB-C or other a separate dedicated uh, power cable, uh, just you know plug that in. And then uh, once you open the Chromebook, then you're gonna have to turn on the Chromebook by pressing the power button. So the power button usually is going to be on one of these sides. Uh, for this Chromebook, the power button is right here. And once you have the power button, then you're going to see a pop-up screen right here. I'm not going to have that screen uh, today because uh, you know this is not uh, the first time I'm setting up the Chromebook but uh, for your Chromebook you're going to see a smaller screen uh, right here and which is uh, which will have welcome message on top and then you're gonna have to set your language and uh, your uh, keyboard uh, language and then your network connection inside that box and then once you set it up then you'll have to enter your uh, network password and a network uh, username and then you have to accept the terms and conditions and then that will bring you to a screen which is going to be uh, like this. So once you have this uh, screen after setting up or going through the initial uh, few steps then you're going to be seeing a screen which has nothing on it so it's not like a, you know Windows uh, computer that you can put the stuff on your desktop so your desktop for Chromebook is always empty uh, you are not able to put anything on it however you're able to put some something on the place right here which is called the shelf so you can see that right now I have about five items but you can put more items or you can remove items from here to for easier access so here is the shelf and then on the lower right you will see a small uh, section and which is called the status tray and here you'll see the status of your Chromebook and it will give you access to various features and settings so in order to open that you have to just you know tap on it and then you will see that you know uh, there are a few buttons here for example your uh, Wi-Fi uh, button your Bluetooth button and then sign out uh, power button so if you hit the power button it will just turn off right away and there's the uh, log button and then there's the setting button so everything uh, basically you need to set up your uh, to go through the settings or to uh, change settings everything is right here so I'll just show you a few things uh, so let's say we want to go to the settings so you have to just tap on that wheel button right here so if I do that then there's a white uh, window which will uh, come out and here you're going to see all the settings now for the first time you're going to be uh, maybe like you know thinking that there are so many settings so you don't have to go through actually each of them one by one the beauty of the Chromebook is that uh, you can just you know do a search right here uh, the setting you're looking for so for example uh, let's say password so I just typed in PASS and then you know it took you already to the setting where you can change uh, password and where you can uh, change the settings of how to use password or how to autofill and other related settings uh, with the password so here is that and then let's uh, go back and then let's say you want to see how to change your screen so here 
is going to show you all the you know necessary settings to lock your screen or manage your screen or you know change your screen so that's that's how you can uh, find instantly what you're looking for or you can just go through one by one uh, so there are both ways you can do that and then on the left side of the menu button you will see that you know there are some uh, options uh, so by clicking here it will go to the setting specific setting as well for example search en engine then it will take you to the search engine section and where you have the option to choose which search uh, you want uh, you don't have to use google always you can just you know choose a different one if you want so then then there's the autofill section and then you know there's the device section how to uh, change display keyboard touchpad and everything so everything is right on the setting screen and it's very easy to you know set up anything you want now on the left side of your uh, screen you're going to see a round button uh, which is the app launcher so if you just click on it then it's going to show or it's going to bring up a partial uh, kind of like you know section and then here you can see all your apps so the first thing you can do is you can just search here by uh, typing in the app you're looking for or if you just click on that arrow button right here then it's going to show you all the apps uh, you know you have here and once you install more apps then it will show everything uh, one by one and you can just like you know drag it down and instead of uh, clicking the button here you have another option to bring all the apps you have is just you know uh, hover over from uh, up to uh, from lower to upper section for example if you do like that uh, that will bring up the same section as well so now if you need some apps then same like uh, your phone uh, if you have an Android phone so you have to just go to the app store and then you have to just uh, search for the app you're looking for and then you can install uh, any apps you want uh, so it's a very much similar like your uh, phone and then there's another option that you know if you want to find something on uh, your Chromebook so for example let's say if you want to add an extension then all you have to do is just you have to go to the Google extension store and then you'll be able to add anything from uh, the extension store to your uh, Chromebook so for example if I search for extension store and then if I go to Chrome Web Store then from here you'll be able to uh, search uh, or you'll be able to add any extension to your Chrome browser and it will work as a as an another app uh, part of the extension so you can do that way too so a few some other stuff I'd like to show you is that once you have uh, an app so for example if you go to your app section and then let's say you have uh, the Gmail you can um, send any app to the shelf uh, section so if you just you know tap on it then you will see that you know it, it's giving you the option and uh, so you can just you know send it to the shelf but right now it's telling to unpin from shelf because it's already on the shelf uh, so let's say if you didn't have this uh, app or gmail on the shelf then you'd see here that you know send it to the shelf uh, then you just click on it and then it will show up on the shelf and then if you want to uninstall then that option is going to be uh, here uh, for this section uh, gmail there's no uh, option to uninstall because some of the app you cannot uh, uninstall just like your phone so for example if you click on the weather channel and you'll see that you know you're you're getting that option to pin to shelf which is right there and then here you'll see that remove from Chrome, uh, which is basically it's, you know, uh, you're unst uninstalling the app. Here, for example, there's another uh, app uh, which has the message that or the option to uninstall. So you can just, you know, uninstall by hitting the uh, uninstall uh, icon. But in terms of uh, the trackpad, the Chromebook trackpad is very responsive whether you're buying a $200 Chromebook or you're buying a $1,000 Chromebook uh, because Google makes sure that you know it follows the criteria uh, for all Chromebooks across the board so let's say you have a browser so if you open up a browser and then you can scroll up or down uh, just by using two fingers so let's say if you you know slide towards the this way then you know you can move the screen and then if you go up then the screen will uh, actually go up and if you want to like you know uh, if you double tap 
on your screen then it will uh, work as like you know right click on your window so for example on your window computer so for example if you double tap you can see that you know it's giving you the right click option the other way you can right click is by holding the alt and then doing one click on the mouse or you can just you know double tap if you scroll your finger to the left or right so you it will go back to the page before or after so let's say if you want to go to back to the page before then you just uh, slide to the and if you want to go back the trackpad gives you lots of features and options and another uh, cool thing you need to know about your Chromebook that you know there are lots of uh, options uh, for shortcuts the Chromebook has lots of shortcuts but you know if you, you don't need to rem remember or memorize all of them uh, you can see all of them at a glance just by simply uh, hitting Control alt at the same time so if you do that and then just hit uh, the question mark right here and then you will see here all the shortcuts and you can just like you know search for the shortcut you're looking for or you can just like you know scroll down section by section uh, for each uh, section on the left so here what you can do uh, you can just like you know write down some of the shortcuts you'll be using uh, all the time and then later on if you need something else you can just come back here and uh, get another shortcut you're uh, looking for so now another uh, button Chromebook has on the keyboard is that the search button right here so if you just you know hint, enter uh, if you just hit this button then it brings the search option right here and then if you just hit again then it disappears so the buttons are slightly different uh, for example there's a preview button uh, right here if you have more than one screen so for example let's say we have one app open right here and if I open another app and then if you hit the uh, preview button then you can see them all at once uh, for example so you can see them uh, see the two uh, apps I have open and you can actually you know open each other and then uh, if you just click the button again then you know it will disappear so you have like you know many screen open and then you can just you know take a look at them all together another cool thing you need to know that you don't have to install any firewall or antivirus for your chromebook it's all taken care by google and also you don't have to uh, you know uh, go through the uh, time consuming updating process uh, like our, your windows computer it's all done in the background by Google so that's something you don't need to worry about and when you're turning off or turning on Chromebook it's really fast and even like you know uh, you have a new computer today or after two years it's still uh, you know it's the same speed very fast it's not going to uh, slow down for example I'll just show you how fast it is when I turn it off so I hit uh, right here the status tray and then I click on the power button right here and you will see that done so it's off right now so it's very fast in terms of uh, you know how uh, fast it turns on and turns off so and let's say I'll show you how fast it can turn on so let's see you have your Chromebook uh, off and then if you just you know remove the open the tray and then you can see that you know you're going to get the welcome screen right away where you have to enter the password right there so it takes uh, probably two four seconds and even today or you know uh, after like you know three years two years it still is the, it has the same speed it doesn't slow down like uh, other comp Windows computer uh, as time goes by a few other things you can see that you know uh, if you'd like to lend your uh, Chromebook to someone else then there's a, an option here which is called browse as guest so once you like you know hit that option uh, you anyone can use the Chromebook uh, and they will not have access to your information and then you have another option you can add another person and that person can have his or her own ID and uh, a password to enter uh, Chromebook but uh, you and the other person will keep everything separate uh, each person will not be able to see the other person's stuff on Chromebook the browse mode on Chromebook you have to just you know activate it by going to the setting 
so you can just go to the setting uh, I showed you and then you have to just activate uh, the browse uh, guest mode from uh, there and then you'll have this option if you do not have this option on your uh, tray already so these are the few basic things I wanted to talk about uh, I have uh, more I have other videos about Chromebooks and uh, on this channel I do some Chromebook videos and travel videos thank you for watching Forget about subscribing this channel, forget about liking this video, I'll see you shortly.